Spider-Man No Way Home, one of the biggest box office hits in the history of cinema, was actually supposed to be a very different movie. The movie that the writers of the film were in intended to make initially was going to be Spider-Man versus Kraven the Hunter. That was the movie they wanted to do. And apparently Sony stepped in and said, no, because <laughs> we got other plans. This comes to us from Screen Rant to write the following. According to, the, according to MCU, the Reign of Marvel Studios book, Marvel was not allowed to use Kraven the Hunter in Spider-Man No Way Home due to Sony's plans for the villain. The book reveals that Spider-Man No Way Home writers Chris McKenna and Eric Summers pitched Kraven as the villain of the film, only to hear that Kraven was unavailable until Sony established him in a solo movie. And again, that comes to us from Screen Rant. Now, look, hindsight is 2020. We can now look back and say, well, everything worked out just fine. They decided to get bring in you know, Toby and Andrew. They decided to bring back the other villains from the older films. And they made a thing that had one of the biggest box office uh, successes opening weekends in cinematic history. And I think, what, the fifth or sixth or seventh biggest film ever in the history of Hollywood with Spider-Man No Way Home? Made two point some odd billion or got close to that? Whatever. 1.9 billion. 1.9, 1 I got close to 2 billion is what I should opening say. Opening was 260 million. 260 million dollars opening weekend. <laughs> Made more than the previous seven or eight DCEU films together. Combined. Yeah. In one weekend. No, I mean, it was just, fin so clearly it all worked out just fine. It all worked out just fine. But it, it does still kind of show the back and forth relationship that Sony and Marvel has when it comes to the Spider-Man property because, look, everybody forgets that Sony still wields a lot of the power in that relationship. And it's it's right that they do. The, the character rights, movie rights belong to them. They are the distributors of the film. They control these characters. And they had a vision for something. And listen, I got to tell you too, despite what a lot of people say about the trailer and whatever, I am actually quite curious about this Craven movie. Uh, I've got, like, I got more interested in when we started hearing the real synopsis of it because there was some fake stuff going around. But once we heard the real synopsis, I'm like, you know, this could be good. It could be a total disaster. It could be a total disaster. It's either going to be the next Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse or it's going to be the next Morbius. Which one? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Rocket Money. Did you know that the average person has around 12 paid subscriptions and they might not even remember to subscribing to half of those? If you have no idea just how much you're spending each month, you need Rocket Money. It's this great app that tracks all of your expenses so you know exactly where your money is going. I recently just found out that over 80% of people have subscriptions that they've completely forgotten about. Seriously, think about how many free trials you subscribe to that you just probably never canceled. And that's why I'm such a big fan of Rocket Money because I was one of those people. When I signed up to Rocket Money, I was stunned to find out that a gym I had belonged to in another city I lived in, I had still been paying my dues to for over two years. Also, that music subscription service I use, yeah, I forgot I was subscribed to two other ones. That's where Rocket Money comes in because Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. With over 3 million users and counting, Rocket Money customers have saved on average of $720 a year. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash campia. That's rocketmoney.com slash campia. rocketmoney.com slash campia. Rob, at the end of the day, it sounded like, hey, no biggie. Sony said no to something that every right to say no to. Plan B worked out just fine for Sony, Marvel, and everybody else. But when you hear a story like this, I know what are the thoughts that come to your mind? Well, on one hand, it's nice to know they were planning in advance. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, what, that's, what I, that's what I took away from this, which I think is good. Um, it makes sense to me that they wanted to keep this character back. Obviously, when you think of great Spider-Man villains that could actually carry an antagonist that could carry a movie that's worthy of that, uh, Craven is one of those antagonists. And the fact that they decided he was enough of an antagonist to make a solo, a Craven origin movie, shows that's true. And look, you and I have both kind of enjoyed the trailers for what we've seen from Craven. I, I have. I know others haven't, and that's cool. I'm, but I think there's potential there. Yeah, I think there's potential there too. And and Aaron Taylor Johnson is I I really like him. I loved him in Bullet Train. I really liked him as kick ass. Well, I'm so glad you brought up Bullet Train. He was so good in that. I loved him in that movie. And he was in another movie based on a Don Winslow novel called Savages that Oliver Stone directed. That he with was Taylor great Kitch in that. And uh, Ryan Reynolds' wife. Uh, Ryan Reynolds' wife, too. I mean, I really like that movie. I really am a huge Don Winslow fan. Don Winslow fan. And look, 
I really like this actor. It's a bummer. But then again, would the movie have been as good? I don't know. And if they had just, I liked the fact that they brought back these previously existing villains. If they had added Craven into that mix, it might not have been so good. Somebody in the live chat is saying they would have given him a fake script to trick him into joining. <laughs> Let's not forget too that the the upcoming Spider Man Two game is coming out. Yeah, October twentieth on the PlayStation Five, and it it features Craven as the main a part villain. of it. Yeah, so uh, it's a great time for this story to come out. So uh, I'll focus on Craven right now. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, Sony is gonna really go hard on the marketing for that. And if this game is anywhere near as successful as the first game was, they're going to leverage that to spin off into some marketing hype for the Craven movie whenever uh, that movie actually does end up coming out. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.